pine needles, all pines, if they're a true pine, they have a sheath around the needles. See the, the sheath? <clears throat> this one happens to have three needles in a bundle. That's one of the ways you identify pines is how many needles they have in a bundle. Then you look at the needles too and the length of them, if they have a twist in them, you know, difference the color of them. This one's dead obviously, but all of them have that sheath. There's only one pine in the world that has a single needle in a sheath. And I'll show you that. It happens to grow in Southern California. <clears throat> so this is a Jeffrey pine. One way you can tell it's a Jeffrey pine is go stick your nose in the bark and take a whiff, you know? Well, caramel or vanilla. Yeah. It's a type of plant they call a conifer or a gymnosperm. <clears throat> and um, this is an old cone, but if you get a new one, you can go in your hand like this and see these little, these little tips. Oh yeah. There's a couple of them that, that point out, but basically they all point down. See them? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you can go like this, and if it doesn't prickle your hand, it's a Jeffrey pine. If it, on a ponderosa pine, all these things stick out. So you go like that, and you get your hand prickled. You know, and uh, so you can remember that mm -hmm. with uh, the saying, "Gentle Jeffrey and pick a prickly ponderosa." Yeah. So typically ponderosa pines are three needle pine. They can actually hybridize with a Jeffrey pine. So sometimes you'll find pine trees that have got, they look like a Jeffrey. The bark on the ponderosa looks a little bit different, you know. Um, the cones are a little bit, you know, so it's probably a hybrid, you know. But um, these are true Jeffrey pines uh, in here. And we also have coulter pine and pinion pine. Single leaf pinion pine. <clears throat> so this is Pinus Jeffrey eye.